Hey everybody, Craig here, reviews for you. Yeah, looking a little bit more rested now. Uh, kind of slept for about, oh, I don't know, 14 hours, uh, which is why I didn't make a video yesterday. Um, came home, pretty much got something to eat, got a shower, and woke up this morning. Uh, well, this afternoon. Pretty much this afternoon. Woke up this afternoon. Anyway, Craig here, reviews for you, feeling a whole lot better. Got an email from, uh, we got actually a, a couple things I want to go over today. Um, and actually three things I want to go over today. But the first thing I'm going to go ahead and go over is I'm going to give you an update on uh, Shannon. Shannon sent me an email, uh, which is actually didn't just send it to me. She also sent it to you. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and share that with you now. I did not have words for how much I appreciate this. I know Star Wars fans are far and wide as I had done the convention circuit for so many years. It really was one of the best times of my life. I grew to love Mira as much as any fan before me and always tried to leave a good impression on folks. To see how Lucasfilm Limited and Disney have treated us EU fans is so sad. I think the lightsaber idea is fun. Ship away. Make sure you include where to sign and insure them. Once they are done, it may take a day or two to get them back in the mail. I won't be clear to drive for a bit, but I can catch a neighbor to run them up fairly easily. And please share where you feel appropriate. It breaks my heart that I've ended up this way. I have always kind of hoped they would at least screen test me if Mara were to come to life, especially if it was a smaller part. I guess no one is worried about what EU folks care about anyway. I'm speechless about the help everyone is giving. It is uplifting. The comments people leave make me cry very happy tears. I'm trying to comment back to every donor and say thank you. I'm a little behind, but knee surgery is kind of horrible. <laughs> Not as horrible as ankle but it's on the list of things everyone should avoid. Again, I have no words as to what this means. Honestly, I was in a very dark place when someone suggested a GoFundMe a few weeks ago. I've been a huge financial burden to my family, and that is a first for me. That darkness now has hope. Thank you for that. God bless, and again, I am truly, truly grateful for everyone involved. Shannon. That's awesome. It doesn't come that that doesn't, you know, this email may have came to me, but it is actually for each and every one of you out there. Um, we are doing well. Uh, Dark Side Riders have uh, things under control as far as getting things done uh, on their end for the uh, for the uh, Los Angeles uh, fundraiser that they're going to be putting on. Um, everything is going good with getting the website up. Uh, I get the first lightsaber in on Monday um, for me to inspect to make sure that they come out right. And if it comes out right, the next 10 will be uh, made and then they'll be sent to me. Uh, I'm also looking for other marriage aid stuff that I can do. She says she has um, a lot of pictures, um, so she will sign those and send those as well. Um, I know some people wanted pictures, shirts, comic books, everything else. So. Trying to get all that gathered up so I can get it all sent out to her. I told her, don't worry about, um, don't, you don't have to worry about sending it back. I'm going to, you know, you don't have to take it anywhere. Once everything gets signed, all you have to do is tape the box back up. There will be a shipping label inside of it. So you just call 1-800-UPS and they will come to the house and pick it up. So no need for her to drive anywhere. Uh, but anyway, I'm extremely proud of everything that you guys have done. I'm extremely proud of everybody that's donated. I, I know some are waiting for payday. I know I still have some checks that are coming in uh, to get donated. I know I'm still waiting to get paid from uh, YouTube. Um, but as soon as all that money gets done, it's all going to go straight to her. Um, I can't tell you guys how much I appreciate that. So now we're going to get on to number two. Ray. is Luke's niece. Now I know there's been speculation and speculation is speculation. All right, so I was going through some stuff. Remember I told you I was gonna take the uh, whole plagiarism deal um, and kind of match it up to everything else. Well, I was in the middle of doing that for like, I don't know, eight hours today. I, I, you, you can't make this up. This is, <laughs> you can't make this up. So I have the audio, uh, enhanced. This comes directly from not the DVD. Um, this comes directly from the streaming service because I was doing it on the computer, pulling it, you know, recording, recording the screenshots. And it is definitely there. If you don't enhance the audio, 
you don't really pick it up. It just sounds like a, a mumbling is what it sounds like, just regular mumbling. Remember how we were picking up all kinds of stuff in Ray's Force Vision when she touched the lightsaber uh, in The Force Awakens? And the more you kept going through it and everything else, uh, you picked up a little bit more. Um, I, I It's kind of weird. Um, but after I put it through a couple filters, uh, it's pretty plain. It's not like an it's not like an EVP that you see on one of these you know shows. That you, you can't really make out what it says, and people just kind of suggest what it says. It's pretty damn plain, especially when I put it through the second filter. Um, and the second filter just takes down the radiant noise around it, and you can pretty much hear the lady talking into the freaking microphone uh, when they were when they recorded it. So I'm playing those audio clips for you right now. <laughs> And now I am going to play the more enhanced version of the same clip uh, with a little more noise reduction, a little less equalization, and a whole nother filter added to it. And I'll play that now. What do you guys think about that? I don't remember anybody ever say anything about it and I don't remember any I mean surely if you read the novelization it should say something in there I, I don't know if it does or not I haven't read the novelization I'm not gonna spend the money on it um, and it was bad enough just going through here and pulling out video clips all freaking day long having to see the fourth I mean having to see the last Jedi again um, and I, hopefully I'll have that one done oh I don't know Monday or Tuesday it's taking a long time uh, because there's so many clips that I have to match up uh, and it, it takes a while um, but anyway, those are two things right there. And then one more thing that I just happened to kind of look at and thought it was kind of weird. Uh, the, the cave scene, uh, when she puts her hand up on the mirror to see her parents and she says, you know, let me see my parents, please. Um, and you see two figures walking towards the mirror. Um, they quickly merge into one. Um, and that one puts their hand up with where her hand is. Now, could it be Harrison Ford? It could be. The weird thing is, is if you look at the bushy hair and the nose, damn if it don't look like Kylo. Okay, so here I have taken the picture. I have put it through... Uh, a resolution filter uh, that's in my editing program and this is what I came up with now no Kylo wouldn't be your parent but it could be a sibling you see her parents walking towards you which in the silhouettes you can definitely see two figures coming up one does look like Han has a completely different haircut than the one that is at the mirror um, right before she pulls her hand away and it reveals that it's her um, which again, play back on Empire Strikes Back, where Luke goes in, you know, goes against Vader, mass blows apart, and there's Luke's face inside of it. Um, so, you know, there you go. Um, that's the three things that I've got right now. Um, let me know what you think down in the comments. I mean, it's pretty damn self-explanatory. Um, it's like I said, it's not like an EVP where you have to like you can suggest what, what was in there. Um, once I started putting it through the filters, it started really coming out. Um, and it's not been enhanced as far as the voice or anything else goes. So, with that being said, I'm Craig, reviews for you, and I am...